Hey y'all, how are we doing? Today is January 2nd, 2022. Doesn't get weird to get used to, isn't it? Oh, that rhymed. Welcome, my name's Evan. This is uh, By The Bulls, the only stock trading investment financial channel that just encourages you just to take your stock trading just mm, by the bulls. <laughs> if you're new, welcome. We're gonna be discussing technical analysis. Now, what's most important, which you saw in the thumbnail, is that I am doing a trial for my community. It's risk-free, scot-free, 14 free days. You wanna come check us out. In the description box down below, the top link's gonna be that uh, sign-up link. It has to go through a link. One, I need to get lists for these things. And two, last time I did it, I had like 160 people who did it, and I had no trace of anything. It was very hard for me to do. I need y'all to sign up officially through that link. You'll get the link sent to you by email. After the next page, when we sign up, it's there for you. Go check it out. It's risk-free. I fully encourage you to take advantage just because I am a licensed educator. I have to go back to school on Wednesday. And then also, it's here to make your year better. Why not start off your year with a community of folks who are here to support you. I have eight or nine admin that I pay to be there. I'm in that chat. We have great ideas bouncing off each other, early access to all my content. It's risk-free. Come check it out. I would appreciate it if you did. I'd love to have you. Come check it out. If you do enjoy my content, I would suggest liking, subscribing, hitting that bell notification. It means the world to me. It makes my day when I get a lot of upvotes just because I only have 7,420, <laughs> 420. I only have so many people compared to like a gigantic channel that gets pushed more than me. Liking my video makes a massive difference. It really does. It takes you five seconds. You just you know, scroll down boop, and go back up, right? So while you're down there, check out the description box. That like button's there, that subscribe button's there. It means the world to me. You know, if I bring this free content, at least, at least in return is a nice little like button click, right? Even comment down below saying, I hit the like button, XOXO. I'll respond in five seconds. I don't have a life. With that being said, Eight great picks today. We're gonna to go into this week strong. We're going into January strong. Um, I can't wait to get at it, y'all. We have a, you know, by the Bulls brand, it's trademarked, it's ours, this community this year, it's all us. I can't wait. But for y'all who are new, come check it out. You know, John Stonkton's here to help you. With that being said, eight great picks today, technically sound. Let's check them out together. So first is AEVA Technologies. What's gorgeous about this play is it's a really nice support play. Now we do have a newer trend forming here. Once, twice, maybe three times. I'm not putting a lot of emphasis in this trend up. It's only hit two times. Again, if you're new, you don't know this, but for those who've been here for a minute, any one of you idiots, any one of me idiots can draw a trend line from A to B. A to B to C then D is much more significant. So not too much emphasis here, but the higher lows are evident across the board. Uh, what I'm looking at as well as this resistance trend line is starting to break. It's starting to get pressured. If we break above that, we should have a good old time with that as well. Easy horizontal channel. You know, you do have some consistent lower highs here as well. I'm not putting too much emphasis in that as well. Nice little higher lows. It's just a simple low risk, right? Anywhere below, you know, 725. Why are you buying it, right? It's low risk. Huge reward to hit about, you know, 10, 50, 11 dollars. I like what I see. It's a very easy setup. Let's check the indicators together. What's really cool about this channel, besides me and my cat, is that I actually don't check indicators while I scan or chart. If you have been here for a minute, you know this, but we call it the MTVV system, just like the TV channel plus the V. Indicators show you momentum, trend, volume, and volatility. That's it. These four things that it shows us helps us enter and exit stocks, plan accordingly, and goal set. But the technical analysis that we're looking at is still the cake indicators are just the icing so go ahead and uh you know watch with me i've not looked at this before so if you are new if you're newer to trading you'll see live what a veteran sees it's mightily important to you let's check it out together so the first is the ema lines the 10 is blue the purple is 50 the red is 200. while you're over a 10 do the crosses work well they seem to where you cross the 10 ema line there easy 30 percent move you cross the 10 here good move good move now there's plenty of fake outs here and it does get kind of choppy. So I think a 10 cross is fine. Like right here, you crossed over here. Was a good 4% trade. Nothing right home about, but again, you would have at least ended green. 50 cross is best. You go back in time, look how we crossed that 50, how much better moves there are. Like see this 50 EMA being resistance here. When we cross the 50, it's the best move, but it's too far away. I wouldn't wait for that. RSI is at 29. That's a value. 
Stochastic is low at negative 86. That's a fantastic value. No, no divergence. It all checks out. Bulls are low. Bears are high. Again, we see the value with the technical analysis, but now the indicators also show value. Can you play off that 10 EMA crossover? Sure. Can you play off that 50 EMA crossover? I don't think so. I think it's too far away. But overall, AEVA is a fantastic value. This week, I'd watch this to start 20, 2022 off with some great picks. That's definitely one of them. Next is Baker Hughes. Baker, like my quarterback, is a, my son. Today's a big deal for us and so is tomorrow. We'll see how tomorrow's game goes. But Baker Hughes is a fantastic ascending triangle. Look at folks said, hey, 1350 is fair and pushed it all the way to 26. And then they said, hey, actually, 19 is fair, pushed it all the way to 26. And they said, hey, 20 is fair. And now they're saying, hey, 22 is fair. So we can see consistent higher lows, the consistent same resistance spot. I love what I see when it comes to that. If it does break down, look at 19 bucks, 1980, 20 bucks here, is a great support play as well. So if it does break down, you watch listed and you wait for this bounce down here. Very easy play up. Is it ready to play here? I don't think so. I think you may see one more or two more red days. The S&P is kind of overbought. It comes down another two or three percent anywhere down here. I'm looking to buy. So tomorrow, AEVA is ready to play. It's at value. Now, if tomorrow is a red day, you don't touch that and you wait for BKR to fall to where you want it. So again, I'm giving you guys diversity. You have to do your own due diligence, but something like this is a great pickup for a possible red day tomorrow. I just love what I see. Let's check the indicators together. So BKR, I don't love the value purchase here. I like to buy in the value. You have all three EMA lines right here, 250.10. If tomorrow's a green day and you get a percent here, you cross all three and you hold, you can definitely buy into that. That 10 crosses the 50, that 50 crosses the 200, and then we're good to go. The 10 crosses are pretty great. See how good the 10 crosses are? 50 crosses are best here. So if we do cross over tomorrow, we should be fine. You know, RSI at 48, it's fair. Stochastic is very low. I love that. And then bulls and bears are high. If bulls cross over, momentum can be bought into. If they don't, we're coming down probably at $23. BKR, I would not play tomorrow per se unless we cross over. Otherwise, Tuesday or Wednesday for a value purchase makes a whole lot of sense here. I do love what I see. BKR, I would definitely watch this. It looks pretty good. Sorry, I keep looking at my cat. keeps rolling around. I, can't, I want to make eye contact, but my cat's like, Meow. So it's kind of hard for me to focus on that right now. Goober. Next is CHX Champion X Corporation. A beautiful wedge down right into support. Look at this gap. This gap area in February caused a fantastic support area. It's been looking fantastic ever since. Gaps like to be filled. This gap got filled. This gap got filled. This gap, this gap. Every single gap on this time frame has been filled. I see a gap here. That's an easy 2%. Well, I don't want to waste my time with 2%. If your worst case risk first reward is 2%, you're doing just fine. CHX here, great wedge down, super consistent. Great resistance trend. We can wait for a break. If that gap does get filled, there's a good chance while we're filling it, we may break this resistance trend. Wedge downs lead to breakouts. Up looks great. Copy that with a support line 1945. Low risk, very clear risk. I love what I see. Let's check the indicators together. When it comes to a 50 EMA cross, that's going to be best for this kind of play on this time frame. 10 crosses are also fine. Across the 10, boop, 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 all the way up. Crosses the 10, all the way up. 10 crosses are fine, especially for breaking even. So if tomorrow we get a green day, 1.5% up, we clear that and we hold, definitely buy into that. Low risk if you use that 10 EMA line as your stop loss area. RSI, it's low. Stochastic, it's low. No divergence really. It all checks up. A negative 25 is a fine deal. Bulls and bears are tied here. They're tied, they're both high. Eventually one's gonna drop. Whichever one drops will be whoever doesn't get volume. So again, Vortex is fairly worthless here, but we get that 10 cross, which should be good. CHX, I think could be bought at value two, 3% lower if it's a red day. If tomorrow's a great green day and it crosses that 10 E main line, fills that gap and keeps going, it's gonna be a fantastic play in my opinion. CHX, I definitely watched this dip, I love what I see. Next is CMS, a very easy resistance play here. I want to short this. And again, most of my plays from last Thursday were shorts. That Those plays are still very much alive. And again, if that is the case of the market's red, Thursday's video is better, but this is a good short for, short for you as well. 
This is a very strong resistance. There's no volume up here. See how sporadic it gets up in this area? See how quick the movements are, how many gaps there are? But see how down here there aren't any? That's because there's a lack of volume above $65. Anywhere up here, it's going to be very quick and then come back down. This is an ascending triangle that's forming. I do want to go long eventually. I think most professional price targets put this at $66 to $69. <laughs> So I think you're buying at 60 or 59 makes way more sense than up here. Easy short, you can risk what? 2% liberally and a full move is about eight. So a good four to one here. And energy is kind of falling off here. If it does hold as a strong resistance, a very easy short here. Let's check the indicators. It crosses the 10 and makes good moves. It makes good moves. But when it loses the 10, especially up top, first sign of losing it, what happens? Weakness, 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 and then it plummets. So a 50 cross is best. You wanna wait for 50 cross, fine. But 10 crosses that first sign of weakness. If you cross under the 10, we're good to go. Bulls are overbought. It's a fair value. 20 is not great. It's overbought. And then bulls are on top. Bears are low. CMS is a great looking energy stock that I want to short. Now, again, I don't want to short in bull markets for more than two or three days. So this would be a good one to short like HUM from Thursday. Short it three or four days as the market corrects down and then go long. But overall, CMS, a great stock to watch list. I'd watch this week for sure. I do love what I see. Next is ENG. I'm like 95% sure ENG's market cap is below 100 million. And so that means the volatility is going to be absolutely stupid. What we do have is a fantastic wedge down. Now, the support area is traditionally a very strong resistance in its past, right? It's very strong. So again, I'm not putting much emphasis into that. It's much more of a nice trend down here. Three solid hits, perfectly placed. And now it's coming down. The resistance trend's also gorgeous. We're getting real tight. We're getting real tight here. I think you're risking four or 5% at least, but hopefully you can make about 20 for a good move here. It's more volatile. It is a penny stock. It's a micro cap. If you are a beginner, I would not touch this. But if you do like what you see, if it is coming down into value, you can go in a shorter time frame and really watch it well, get some option calls on it that show, you know, the gamma walls in some spots are low or whatever. I would check it out then. But ENG, a great wedge down right into old support, holding beautifully. Let's check the indicators together. A 200 cross is best. It's so far away. Not going to worry about it. A 50 cross is also fine, but again, it's like 10% away. Not going to wait for that. A 10 cross is fine for day trading. You cross the 10, boom, 7%. Cross the 10, boom, 9%. We do cross the 10 EMA line tomorrow or the next day. We do get opportunities for day trading and low risk plays. I like that a lot. Our side's low at 35. That's fantastic. No divergences. All lower lows, lower highs. That's fine. But negative 62, it bottoms out here a lot. See this? If I take my horizontal tool here and go down to where it bottoms out at, it's almost right there. See, we go to the top here, it tops out here. And every move is almost perfectly lined up here. So it's getting down to value. Bulls are low. And again, where it is right there, low. Bears are high where it's at. ENG has a great value here. But for a penny stock that's very volatile, it, it can get real choppy, especially if this market does get choppy as it is now. I would be cautious if I'm a beginner, even intermediate traders. There's probably better and easier picks, but if you know what you're doing, you can make a whole lot of money if this breaks out. ENG, I'd watch this, I love what I see. Next is G-O-E-V, Goov. It's canoe, that makes sense. C-A-N-O-O -C -O -O, and then G-O-E-V. The hell is that? This is a really good small cap as well. 755, not a great, great, you know, penny stock. You want it a little bit lower. Look at this trend. Once, twice, three times, four. That was an 8% move right there. It's holding beautifully. No true resistance trend, so no real pattern here. But this is a very strong resistance and support spot. Mightily strong here and a great trend. Of. If it does break down, guess what? At 650, you're going to love that support play as well. Great trend up, great support, nice everything here. Again, what's the risk? Even for a small penny stock here, you're risking lower low, 250. All right, 3%, not bad. To hit this resistance is 12. That's like a four to one, five to one kind of play. That's great risk versus reward. You win 20% of your trades at five, you know, five to one odds. You're breaking even worst case scenario and you can easily go 50%. So again, that's fantastic. You're not gonna write home about 12%, but again, for a quick swing, yes you would. GOEV, I love what I see. Let's check the indicators. A 50 cross is doable. It's doable on time. You can see how strong it is. It's doable. I wouldn't I wouldn't wait for it myself, but you do want to go for that eventually. 
that's fine. 10 crosses are also fine. Once you cross that 50, once you cross that 10, we're good to go. RSI, it's low, stochastic, it's fair, bulls are low, bears are high. So I think GOEV could dip a bit more. If it does, hey, that 650 spot for support play is absolutely astonishing. I'd love, I'd love to see it down there. But I think for a trend line hold here, low risk, massive reward. If it breaks out, you'll be very happy with what you did. Uh, uh, GOEV, I'd watch this dip, it looks fantastic. Next is HIPAA, H-E-P-A, Herian, sorry, Hepian Pharmaceuticals. Ding, 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 ding. Pharmaceuticals and therapeutics is uh, extra DD needed. So make sure you guys look at what they're doing because that's gonna be mightily important to you. This is a extremely clear, extremely clear wedge down here. My phone almost fell, oh Jesus. A really good looking play here. Great trend down, great resistance trend here. It's really making a nice wedge and look at this. Oh baby, that's making a support, right? This 112 to 115 area, it's making a support here. What are we risking? Three, four percent, just to hit the resistance trend is 24. It's six to one with no breakout. And if it does break out here, it's gonna be fantastic. It forms a support, it takes off. It forms a support, it takes off. Forms a support, takes off. This is exactly what it does historically. And now it's starting to really tighten up. If this bad boy breaks out, it's gonna be a fantastic play. Let's check the indicators together. I think a 10 cross is fine. Absolutely fine. It crosses the 10. You have great day trading opportunities when it does. And again, when it crosses the 50, you're good to go. If you do cross that 10 tomorrow, 2%, buy into that. If you cross that 200, you've hit the jackpot. RSI, it's low. I love it. Stochastic's low. I love it. Bulls are low. I love it. Bears are high. It looks really good. Hey, buddy. How are you? He's in camera. He's a good boy. HEPA is a great wedge down. And again, if you watch my channel for a long period of time here, you would know that I don't often play wedge downs in bull markets, but there's a lot of them that look really good. I definitely take advantage of that. HEPA, I watch list it. I love what I see. Next is KTOS. Thank you, boy. Good boy. Another great wedge down. Very strong support area historically. It just gets to around $18.80, $18, and it holds beautifully. With that is a great trend down, a great resistance trend. It's really starting to consolidate here and make a new support. Again, we're risking 2 or 3% at breakouts, 8 or so. I don't want to go all day like, hey, another wedge down. But this wedge down is extremely clear. The POC is gravitational and the strongest support. If it holds volume here, which it looks like it's doing, it's going to be a very strong support for us. And when we cross over it, it's going to be a really good sign of a breakout. Overall, great resistance trend, great supporting trend, right into support. We cross over, we're good to go. KTOS is indicators. Let's check together. I want that 50 cross. The 10 is fine. 10 is really good, right? This is what you want to see for 10 cross. Whoop! All the way up perfectly. You want that. You want those kinds of plays. You have them. But you cross that 50 tomorrow, 2% up, you cross that, that's when you start to get these big old spikes. So either way, the 10 cross, 50 cross, both are fine here. You know, it's a fair RSI, low stochastic, fair and uh, vortex as well. It's forming a support. That's why it's a fair value. It's going sideways. Most of your big moves, which is what we want here, come after that period of sideways. So it's not a bad thing to see us forming a support here. Overall, KTOS, I definitely watch this. Dip. I do love what I see. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you are part of my community or on that trial, stick around. You and me, let's do some fundamentals real quick on these plays. Otherwise, have a good rest of you guys' week. We'll see you guys tomorrow on another watch list. Check out the Discord. Check out the community. I appreciate you all so much. Have a good one. Thanks. Let's do a thumbnail real quick. Then we'll look at the fundamentals together, you handsome people. 20 missed messages. Okay.